was Four O'Clock Blues. I originally heard that by uh, Sunhouse, but it's a jazz piece that goes back to 922 when it was first recorded by Roy Dunn and his Jazz Hounds. Uh, I learned most of it by uh, a version of a Woody Man. And <clears throat> it's a very slow, slow 12 bar blues. And if you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description. And we're in standard tuning. And you should consider every beat as a triplet. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. Long, short, short, long, short, short. All right, let's play the first part. And I'm showing most of it my right hand because that's the most important hand in this song. So here we go. were the first four bars, starting with a hammer-on on the third string, the first fret, hit, and that's a partial E chord, uh, sorry, A chord, I'm doing that with my third finger, I'm doing that with the first finger as well, of course, doesn't matter. And notice the muting of picking fingers. Walking into our A chord. And notice again the, the muting. Even the open string of the third beat. That's a signature lick then, and it's important that you you pinch and then you hammer on. So the, the beat is in, in two pieces, first the pinch and then pull off. So it's not like that, but you have the time, one and two. Three. and open string, second string. And that's a, a partial F sharp. I'm doing that with a temp prep. And then B7, also partial. You don't have to form the full chord. Partial E chords, D for D shape. You can do it like this also, of course. Hammer on and to our A chord. Noticing the space between the notes. seven there we have a well the hardest chord I think in this piece it's an E chord and it's easier to grab it and to fret it in two stages this is the easy part and then adding the pinky to the fifth fret you have time for that see going down Form C7, it's like a B7 uh, seven, uh, shape, and the B7. And I mute that. Slide 
bar to the third fret, the uh, fourth fret, and simply barring the fifth and the fourth string. Walking to the B7 chord. There's no alternating bass, there's no monotonic bass, it's just loose bass runs and bass notes in between. So let, let's play it one more time. Well, slowly, it is slow. Second verse, same thing all over but with some variations in the positions. So let's start with bar 12 and I played uh, the second verse uh, in its full form. So starting with bar 12. to the fourth fret, part 13. And you notice that fifth fret first uh, string is on the offbeat. Uh, giving a little tap might help you to keep the beat in. Going to the ninth fret. Fifth fret and bass in between. We've seen that before. E9, it's like your E7, but you place your third finger on the first string, second fret. Notice how I keep that short. I accent it, but I keep it short. Notice the muting again. The ninth fret, adding the pinky. There's a lot of variation in that second beat. After that, you can play or then you'll notice other variations as well. And don't be afraid to add your own variations. So bar 19.
same as before, but uh, now we're playing the individual uh, fifth string instead of the hammer on. Second page, bar 22. notes dig into that slide to the fifth fret and that's the introduction to the third verse and I'll play that now in its entire form that fifth fourth fret adding the pinky we've done that before quick slides grace notes note to rhythm when you go to that's on the offbeat. And uh, in the tap, it's, it's slide to the fourth fret, and I did in the performance, so I remember that. Open, and notice that I'm to get that strong bass, I'm uh, using the rest stroke. So I'm hitting the string and resting my uh, thumb on the 5th fret. You can... Um, it's, it has more strength that way than, than simply doing that. And I tilt my hand a little bit so I get more nail. So we were at bar 29. it for four o'clock blues. I think the important thing is to really listen to the performance. Uh, I, I couldn't explain every note I played and why I muted or not. You have to use your ears to do that. Like they say, listening is half the battle. All right, have fun with it.